Hey, it's uh, Chris again from Bass Home Inspection. So we're still on this 11 month warranty. And uh, I want to address something in the attic. So, you know, builder, now this, these people own this property, so we can go anywhere we want. But I mean, when the builder says don't go in the attic, there's a reason why. I mean, you know, I've been in the building industry my entire life. I want someone to tell me how you could safely get around this attic. <laughs> I mean, it is the stupidest thing. And when I watch other inspectors videos, you know, mocking the builder, calling them out, you know, and not following the rules and still going in the attic and going on the roof, you just causing all kinds of problems. And, and now we're getting calls from all kinds of clients that the builders are cutting out pre-drywall inspections. Uh, you know, they don't want inspectors on their property anymore because these inspectors don't listen. You know, in my opinion, I think a lot of these guys are unqualified. I've been in the building industry my whole life. You know, if you know what you're doing, and believe me, you're going to miss stuff. It's just it's just human nature. I, I occasionally miss things. I'm not perfect. But if you have enough experience, you don't need to walk these attics. They're not designed to be navigated. You go in the attic to make a repair when it's necessary. You go on the roof to make a repair when it's necessary. You just don't walk around. There's plenty that I can see right from here. I can see it all. You know, so uh, I just wanted to point that out that, you know... If you follow us on YouTube and you watch my videos and you watch other inspectors and, you know, these inspectors are indignant about not listening to the builder, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, I wouldn't hire that inspector. If the builder says, especially if you're having a home built, if the builder says you're not allowed to do certain things, then listen, don't do it. Learn how to write it in your report. And that's what you do. It's, it's, it's called, uh, you know, articulating it in a, in a written format. You know, I have a law enforcement background, so I, I've written reports my entire life. Incident report, well, you name it, I wrote it. So writing, to me, comes comes naturally for this kind of stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about this, that, uh, you know, be careful who you hire and, and, you know, and vet everybody, even vet me. Just doesn't make any sense with the stupid stuff that I see going on in the, uh, in the inspection industry. And, uh, you know, and, and if we don't rein these clowns in... You know, the builders are a whole nother issue. But, you know, the home inspectors have to, like, learn how to do their job a little better. And I, I think there's just far too many out there that are unqualified to do this. You know, they took the course, took a test, and now you're out, and, you know, destroying people's homes. It's just really uh, just remarkable to me. But anyway, I'm going to sign off here. Believe it or not, it is actually cooler in this attic than it is outside, which is unusual for southwest Florida. Have a great day.